welcome, my name is Caitlin Fox and I'm here with Mark Joseph and we are going to be discussing the very exciting upcoming Grand West Poker Tour, part of the Sunbed Poker Tour, coming up very, very soon. We've had loads of interest and loads of questions, so that is what we are here to discuss today. Morning Caitlin, and yeah, this is such an exciting series, It's uh, we've had an amazing amount of interest in this series and obviously the Sunbed Poker Tour has just gained so much momentum this year. We've had awesome responses at all four stops up to date, 20 million at the first stop of the year. So it feels like Grand West might just actually just over overdo that number. I don't know. What do you think? That's definitely the vibe that we're getting. If we just look at like from a Monster Jam perspective, how many phone calls and messages and um, like social media inquiries that we're getting from people who we've never met, we've never heard of. And they are so excited to join the tour and be a part of the action and get involved and they want more information. So the vibe out there is definitely that this is going to be our biggest series. No, it's, it's massive, right? So I've been in Cape Town for two weeks, uh, setting up that poker room there, and, and just like from a satellite perspective, and the satellites have just been tremendous. Mm -hmm. You know, poker hasn't been at Grand West Casino for the last eight years. Yeah. So there's just this massive influx of people. I've seen people I've never seen in my life. Um, I've seen some people that I, I last saw at Pigs Peak Casino like <laughs> in the old days. Uh, that's how long you know they've been missing for. So. Um, this is just absolutely sensational. Really, really excited about the series. Um, really just excited about this entire brand at the moment. Mm. You know, Sunbet Poker Tour is just gaining momentum all the time. And a big thanks to, to everybody involved. Yeah, definitely. I think a big part of the, the growth that we've seen as well is that we've got four satellite rooms open across the country. So obviously, like you said, we've just opened Cape Town, then uh, Boardwalk we're going to be opening, and Sabaya, and then obviously Times Square in in Pretoria as well. Yeah, so and these these, these are great feeders to allow people to, to go now nationally and just get across to different provinces and play. Um, not that most of them, quite a lot of them just come and buy in anyway, but mm. this opportunity to satellite in, it's also people with smaller bankrolls, it's a great opportunity for them to play. Yeah, definitely. And then uh, moving on to the actual tournament schedule for Grand West. So obviously we have our normal fan favorites because we could never get rid of them. So we've got our little Sam, we've got our high roller and of course the main event. Um, but then there's some very exciting new events. Well, let's talk about those little favorites first, I yeah. think. Let's, let's have a quick little chat around those. The little Sam, very popular. Very, very popular, and this one's been dedicated to a good friend of poker, uh, the late Vicky Mudley. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think the the amount of interest from that is just tremendous. Uh, the, the phone calls and I think the sentiment and mm. the emotion around this event is, is going to be something quite special. Um, and for those of you who haven't played the little slam, I mean, you just get to play a high roller structure, 300,000 chips for your 5,000 rand re-entry for nine levels and yeah. just absolutely have a jewel. Um, we have approximately 250 seats in the poker venue. Um, got a feeling that might not be enough for this event. We might have to stretch <laughs> our wings out into the satellite floor. But I mean, we never complain when that happens. No, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, wouldn't that just be too lovely just to, to have an event of that nature? Absolutely. And then, of course, um, you know, the high roller is a high roller. It takes care of itself. 40,000 Rand buying. Um, it's a niche market. Lots of satellites to get into that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, uh, it's just a it's a lovely event some people just say it's our best event mm -hmm. out of everything but uh let's focus around this main yeah so the main event as much as it is one of our standard events we've made some um innovations shall we call it yeah and uh, <laughs> these are really cool innovations mm -hmm. so I, I think and, and a lot of questions have been asked around this yeah. so, so let's 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 start yeah there are multiple day ones mm -hmm. there's eight levels of late registration in the day ones, they have 40 minute levels. Day one plays into the money. So, what that means is we pay one in 10, which is 10% of the field. So, if we have 100 starters on day 1A, for example, let's just start there. That means we'll play down to 10 players at the end of the day. That means you're in the money and your chip stack goes through to day two. If you play day two, day one A, and now you decide you want to play day one B, and you get another chip stack through into the money, you can take your best stack forward, and both those stacks now qualify for a min cash. Yes. Okay? And you can then, if you want to, even on day one A, if you decide your chip stack's not big enough, you can have your min cash immediately. So you'll be able to cash out your 22,500, because that's going to be the min cash. It'll be like 50% onto the buying and you can just use that money and go and buy into day 1B again. Mm. So so for people that don't have a bankroll to, to, to buy multiple day ones, 
uh, you can do that. So this is like a great opportunity. You can play all six flights mm. and catch six times in the main event. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is cool. And, and like you said, it's quite a it's quite a nice opportunity for guys who might not have the big bankroll to from the back play. I'm going to play day one A, B, C, and D and see which stack is better. You can play day one A, cash out, then play day one B, cash out, then play Absolutely. day one C. Absolutely. But just bearing in mind that you'll, once you cash out, your chips come out. No, of course, those chips are surrendered. Those chips are surrendered, and and and, and you've taken your cash and off you've got. Uh, so you could play all day, all the days, mm. all the day ones, and cash six times if you want to, and make fifty percent on your buying. If if that's how you're planning to play, mm. but obviously uh, for for a lot of players, uh, this gives them an opportunity maybe on day one a just to get a stack through, so they like feel like they confirmed into into day two, mm. which starts at four p.m. on the Saturday. Um, but it just gives them that opportunity just to um, to buy in, and, and and you can cash every single time, which is really cool. Yeah. And then uh, moving on to some of our other innovations, um, if we look at some of the newer events, so obviously the Welcome to Cape Town, this is a relatively small buy-in event. Uh, we just want to like kick off the series with a bang. Yeah, it's absolutely cool. 250,000 rand guaranteed for, uh, for first two flights, one in the morning, one in the afternoon. Um, and they, 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 they got two different sizes in levels. The afternoon flight, I think it's 40 minutes. The evening flight is uh, 25 minutes. I think that's the schedule. Actually, let's just go and have a quick look at it. So we can see yeah, uh, 40 minutes and 20 minutes. There we go. And uh, you, you need to go and look at the main event. I'm going to step, take a step back. You need mm -hmm. to go and look at the main event uh, schedule as well because there are also different times. Mm. You know, the afternoon flights are 40 minutes, the evening flights are 25 minutes. Uh, this is all about getting to day two, obviously, yeah. you know, to chase the, the three and a half million rand guarantee, which um, I, don't, I don't think, I think that guarantees an irrelevant number in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. I think we'll crack the five million mark yeah. comfortably. And let's see if we can get past Pretoria, 501 entries, which got us to 6.3 million rand pool. So, um, <laughs> Sorry, dressing <laughs> you a little bit. So back to that first event, two flights play into the money again. Mm -hmm. So this is a cool thing that we're doing. We're trying to get a lot of these multiple, all our multiple uh, entries or multiple day entries or multiple flight entries, whatever you want to call them, are going to play straight into the money, 10% of the field. So simple, 100 starters play down to 10, mm -hmm. all the nearest whole number. Yeah. Um, and then just on that note, a question that's come up a few times is, so we've got, um, if we look at the main event, you've got multiple day ones. If we're playing into the money, obviously the different flights can end at different positions in the tournament. So um, in that case, um, when we come back to day two, do you want to just talk about the blind levels? Okay, so, so what we'll do is we'll take the average clock mm -hmm. and we'll go back to the average clock. Uh, that, that's the worst case scenario for the players. You know, we'll see what our position is. We might even take the clock back to the best possible position mm. for the players. So some players might have played like, call it 12 levels and before they got into money and another flight might have played nine levels and got mm. into money. So we'll take the average of that or we'll take a look at the situation. We might go back to the best possible scenario and start the clock back at level nine. So, um, you know, that's obviously up to the tournament's uh, 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 director's discretion at mm -hmm. the time depending on how busy his poker room is, where's his space, where's his yeah. situation. But the worst case scenario will be the average, that flat out average for, for that. Okay, and then on to this very exciting event that everyone wants more information on, the Mystery Bounty. This is quite a, it's a huge thing globally uh, that's been going on recently. So we've decided to incorporate one into our schedule and there's a lot of talk about it, but there's also a little bit of unsurety because may, people who maybe haven't played overseas in bigger tournaments maybe haven't seen it in action so it's a little bit difficult to understand no I th so i think it's, I, I think so, south africans have played a mystery bounty now before they've, they've been to other mystery bounty events in johannesburg mm -hmm. uh they've gone down fairly well i mean i've actually been the recipient of <laughs> of a fifty thousand rand bounty so i've got a feel for how it works and how it plays out um ours will be a little bit different we, we're going to follow like a more uh, sort of global route on this this, this, this is not a rebuy tournament with add-ons it is purely a re-entry event so you'll start off with 40,000 chips I think the levels are 40 minutes mm -hmm. for uh, day 1A let's have a quick look here there's so many things on the schedule it's pretty hard to see so uh, the mystery bounty um, has four flights and 40,000 chips for the uh, for the afternoon levels again uh, or for, uh, 30 minute levels for the afternoon flights and 20 minute levels for the evening flights once again play into the money mm -hmm. if you play day 1A and you've got a mint cash and you don't like your stack, you can cash it out or you can play all the flights and collect mint caches mm -hmm. on the way. Um, so it is a re-entry event completely. Right. When you get into the money on day two, that's when these bounties come into effect. So there are no bounties 
during the day ones, during the flights. The bounties are in fact once you enter the money. Mm -hmm. We've taken this price pool, we've split it up. 4,500 will go at the main price pool, 2,220, 20, like mm -hmm. two, triple two zero, will go into the mystery pool. We've guaranteed a half a million rand in one of those envelopes. So that means, you know, you and I can be playing, you knock me out, and uh, you'll go to the mystery booth, and you'll go and draw an envelope. You could draw a booby price mm -hmm. for like a really small cash. Yeah. Or you could draw an envelope for 500,000 Rand. 500,000 Rand for just knocking out a player. How and cool is there'll that? There'll obviously be like a very big uh, variety of prizes in there. So, I mean, like you said, you could get like 1,000 Rand or you could get 10,000 Rand. But the, like you said, like the big one that everyone's going to be going for is that 500,000 yeah. Rand. So, it's also pool dependent, right? Yes. It's pool dependent, but we've guaranteed one of those envelopes to have a half a million yes. in it, right? Uh, so if this event takes off well for flights and, and we have like a cool, uh, like a, a bounty pool of a million, that's awesome. You know, there'll be a half a million. There'll definitely be one for 200,000 mm. if there was a million. There'll definitely be another one for 100,000. Mm. So three people could really catch a, a nice luck if, if, if the pool is, is sizable, but guaranteed a half a million for somebody in that. You know, the only the only unlucky person in this whole event is the first person knocked out, you yes. know? But at least they've got themselves a guaranteed catch, yeah. you know? The first person knocked out in, in uh, day two, once we're in the money, will obviously not be able to draw a bounty. So, mm. so. But we might have some little booby prize or something special for them, as we always do. <laughs> Maybe right? one always, of our sponsors will give us a bubble yeah, prize. Yeah, <laughs> we always do have some nice bubble prizes to, to deal with. But um, I'm very excited about this Mystery Bounty event. I mean, it's just taken the world by storm. Um, there's been some massive hype online about it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, although we don't, we're not allowed to play online, um, you know, I've, I've seen online uh, people have just caught bounties. A good friend of mine caught himself. A nice four hundred and fifty thousand, or call it five hundred thousand dollar bounty. Yeah, that's so that's bad. pretty. It's pretty sick, yeah. right? You know, life changing actually. Definitely. For if, if that's the case, so very very excited about this bounty event, and I think uh, it'll be very very well supported. Yeah, and I think it's something exciting and something new. You know, we want to we want to keep on evolving the poker industry and not just playing those same events and doing the same thing. It's also it's also a really cool like PR angle that we get to like like you said er we were chatting about it earlier and we don't even know which envelope the the guaranteed prize is going to be. So it's going to be just as exciting for us to watch people Absolutely. draw it as it is for them to do it. And obviously we've got our live stream on there and we'll have a dedicated camera mm -hmm. and a de dedicated crossover every single time someone yeah. draws. So it, the audience at home can also enjoy this fun and this this spectacle and you know. Let's hope, like, the person who finds this bounty, like, really needs it or, mm. or, or it's a great help to them. Um, it's, it's, it's fun, you know. I'm very, very excited about this event. Yeah. Um, and then just discussing something else that we've put out is, uh, for this event, we've put out this full player guide, which we've had a lot of feedback about. Um, it's literally got everything you need to know about yeah. all of our tournaments. Yeah, it's absolutely cool, isn't it? It's, it's just it's something new in South Africa, you know, that's been going around on around the world all the time. We are a little bit behind, but we're spending the time catching yeah. up, you know. This player guide's very cool. You can download it off our website. There's a download button there. I think you can download it off the social pages yep. as well. If you're on our WhatsApp groups, I think it's, it's set as a link to download immediately. You can just download this 13-page player, uh, thirteen page guide. It gives you a full schedule, the binds, the days, the clock, the run, every single bit of information yeah. that you need to know about the Sunbed Poker Tour at Grand West Casino, and obviously this guide is what we'll be using going forward. Mm. It's a it's a nice um, starting point. You know, it's, it includes all your structures. So, like you said, a lot of th the time people need to like schedule their lives. So you need to know what time does day two start? How lot? How late do we play on day one? You know, do I have enough time to go to that meeting in the morning and then come and finish playing? So, it's a nice. Um, inclusion onto the yeah something the something new for for the players mm -hmm. to to enjoy and yeah like you said we've had like this amazing feedback about mm -hmm. it so you know we gave we've done something for the poker <laughs> community that that they like <laughs> <laughs> we are here to serve <laughs> <laughs> absolutely and then just going back to um some of our um events that we have all the time we spoke briefly about the little slam being the vicky Moodley memorial um we've got another memorial event coming up which is the super high roller which we have dedicated to roman simonovitz yeah my good mate, mate roman said passed during the COVID period. Um, I don't think he actually passed from COVID. He, uh, um, he had been ill. Um, and this was exactly his kind of event, Super mm. High Roller. Big, bold, regal. Um, you know, we're gonna, we've, we've missed him dearly at the poker tables and, and his company and his, his wit and his, just the general persona of Roman Simonovitz mm. is, 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 is sorely missed at poker, but we'll dedicate this event to him. And, uh, you know, 
I don't know when this will go up, but last night we had our first Super High Rider satellite in Cape Town, and what a tremendous turnout for yep. that. Uh, we hit the guarantee before, um, right on the on the kick, mm. so we didn't even have to sweat it. It, it got there straight away, so th- there'll be tons of Super High Rider sets mm. definitely for people to qualify for this tremendous 75,000 rand buy-in, 1 million guaranteed for first. Um, this will kick off on the first weekend at the Grand West Series, so pretty excited about that. Um, just in general, uh, you know, this is just an unbelievable series to, to attend. Yeah, so, I mean, you spoke now about the, the million rand that's guaranteed for first place in the Super High Roller. We've got the six million in guarantees for this series. Do you want to just talk us through some of those guarantees? Yeah, so I think we, we've touched on them already. I think the, the, the first event we guarantee 254 for first to the welcome to Cape Town. We put a half a million guarantee for a mystery bounty mm-hmm. in that mystery bounty event. We've guaranteed the main event for 3.25 million, of which the, the spoils will be 1.25 million for, for, for first. Mm-hmm. Um, we've guaranteed a million rand for first in the super high roller. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what else we've guaranteed. We, we've got so many guarantees going here. <laughs> um, I think I that, think that, that think kind of sort of yeah, covers that, most of the stuff. That covers it. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, like we said, we d- we're so excited, and that 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 guarantee I think is is going to be left in the dust quite quickly. Yeah, no, that's six million for the series. Yeah, so, so you know, like the writing seems to be on the wall. Yeah. You know, we can't always be that <laughs> confident, but the writing's on the wall. It's it's, it's very clear. The players yeah. are coming, and yeah, we are confident that we'll smash all these guarantees. We we feel like we could get pretty close, if not bigger than uh, Times Square mm. this year. So uh, it's it's very exciting. You know, and there's just so much for people to play play for. You know, we have this race to Vegas. Yes. Uh, that, I mean, that's the dream, right? Everyone wants to go to Vegas. So, I mean, as you, got, they would have seen at home that we've got our leaderboard that runs. It gets updated after every series. Every time you cash, you earn points on that leaderboard. And hopefully you're in the top 10 and we take you to Vegas next year. And you just don't have to be in the top 10 either. You know, we're going to have packages for everyone who wants to come along mm-hmm. for us. Flights and accommodation packages. We're busy getting some really cool deals together uh, to get it right uh, through from the start at a... Um, at a very, very, very cheap price. We're busy in the negotiations with WSOP now to become a third party agent mm-hmm. um, so that we can really be involved uh, with doing these things nicely. So hopefully that materializes for us. But, um, you know, we had tremendous success success this year at Vegas with Emma on the journey doing mm. so well. And I'm uh, Karim coming second in the last event of the series. And of course, you know, we always touch on these things because they're really important in, in the history of South African poker. We had Ray doing so amazingly in 2007, mm. coming third at the World Series of Poker. We had Warren Zaki coming 13th, uh, uh, 22nd at the mm. World Series of Poker. We had Costa Mamalodis who came 13th at the World Series of Poker. Johan de Graaf a couple of years, had a very nice deep run. Um, Jared Solomon coming 71st the Yars with him in 2019. So, you know, South Africans have done well in this main event mm. and we want to give every single South African an opportunity to get to Vegas and, yeah. and go and enjoy this 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 great poker spectacle because that's <laughs> really what it is. It's an absolute spectacle yeah. of poker. I mean, we've spoken about it that it's, it's kind of like a bucket list item for anyone who plays poker. There's absolutely no doubt and that's why we put our, our leaderboard in that mm. direction. You know, our leaderboard's gone in that direction to give somebody an opportunity to go to this well sought after event and obviously, you know, not a chance to play in the main. Yeah, that's mad. You know, that's uh, that's uh, that's a ten thousand dollar buy in and mm. you know, yesterday that was hundred and fifty grand. <laughs> Tomorrow it could be two hundred and twenty thousand. <laughs> I mean that's, the, the the exchange is so volatile, you know, it's 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 so mad. It's currently at eighteen. I have a look at this every day because obviously we've got a budget that we have mm. to work on and, and, and spread this thing out. So um you know this but but it's great this vegas race and everyone phones us every day what's going on with the race everyone's scrutinizing scrutinizing the points uh, intensely uh we've had to go back and forth a little bit with the hand and mob to to just put some fixes in place mm. where there have been some errors uh because the players are scrutinizing it so yeah. closely and coming back to us with the mistakes so it's pretty cool you know yeah no and i think everyone's very passionate about it it's a very exciting element to the tour um, there's still plenty of time for people to get involved. I mean, it's, it's not like it's locked up and ready to go. No, absolutely. You still can play up until the second event of next year's series mm-hmm. at Sabaya in uh, May to qualify. So there's lots of opportunities. And, you know, talking about leaderboards, we've also got a few other leaderboards on the go that, yes. that are like a little <laughs> bit quiet um, or that, that aren't spoken about too much. And that's a satellite leaderboard. Mm. You know, Joburg, PE and uh, Durban all had leaderboards leading up to the Port Elizabeth series, the Bulldog mm-hmm. series, uh, with players uh, earning points in those satellites. And I think there's three sixty-five thousand 65,000 prizes up for grabs. Yep. 
um, to go to to Grand West. To Grand West. Yes. So that's also awesome for players yeah. on those leaderboards. I think there's like 25k seats, 15k seats, accommodation vouchers, a mm. whole bunch of cool things happening yeah. there. And then, uh, Kate, talk, tell us a little bit about the accommodation. Um, so uh, accommodation in Grand West, I mean, we, we are letting everyone know, like book as soon as you can, guys. It's it's limited. The Grand Hotel is a very small hotel, so we don't have any rooms in there. Um, we have tried to help you guys out as much as possible. We've got to deal with the City Lodge, so just contact us. We will send you in the right direction, but we cannot stress enough, book now. Flights, accommodation, yeah, it's all very limited. Yeah, there's a couple of concerts going on at the yeah. go, but I'm sure uh, we'll put up on screen the link and, and whatever you to, to to book your accommodation mm. and get through there. There's been some cool specials on hotels.com and bookies.com yes. that have actually been cheaper than the rate the City Lodge is offering. Yeah. So maybe grab that opportunity. Uh, you know, we want you to get there as cheap as possible mm. and as quickly as possible. Book your flights. You know the situation the airlines at the mm. moment is like kind of <laughs> difficult. So I've been traveling around the country. I mean, I could have gone to Vegas actually. <laughs> <laughs> and back business class, the amount I spent just going locally. So um, it's... Uh, you know, it's one of the things that if you want to go to Cape Town, very, very seasonal. I've been in Cape Town, like I said, for the last two weeks. It's just absolutely amazing. Mm. It's just so cool in Cape Town right now. You can just see the whole world, like tourists from everywhere around there. People from South Africa are there, like uh, Joburg people are there, uh, Durban people are there, and obviously the locals. Cape Town is like on fire. It's really, really cool place to be this time of the year. And we're very, very excited for people to come out of everywhere to participate in this event. Yeah, and we want to get as many people there as possible. So, you know, check out the specials, like Mark said, bookings.com, Airbnb. Do whatever you can, just get there, be a part of this series. It's going to be amazing. We are so excited. Um, I think a big thank you to, obviously, all of our partners. Thank you to the team at Grand West who've been absolutely incredible in helping us get that satellite room started. The room looks incredible. We've had such great feedback about it. Um, just the whole team at Grand West has been absolutely incredible. Yeah, let me just actually touch on that. You know, Merva Naidu, mm. who's the GM there, he's just uh, still walked. He is just, I mean, this guy's going places in Sun International after Grand West, there's no doubt. that people want to work for him. His staff are absolutely incredible. From Nikki to MC at Surveillance, I mean, he's just been incredible. The lady at Simone that, that helped us get the dealer licenses through at a, at a high speed uh, were tremendous. And obviously, you know, the Western Cape Gaming Board has also been very, very helpful. Mm -hmm. You know, once they accepted to do this project, they, they've been on our stuff very quick yeah. and very fast. And maybe a special thank you to, to Marsha Harris, who, who's really been behind this project from the Western Cape Gaming Board. Uh, a big thank you to them. And then, of course, uh, Sunbet mm -hmm. and Sun International for our, our main... Um, our partners and our main oh, drive behind this. You know, big thank you to Martin Orkers. Yes, always. always. <laughs> and Lenny at Head Office yeah, for helping absolutely. us with all and of the Gary Williams. Yes. Um, there's, a, there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that people at home maybe don't even comprehend and there's so much work that goes into these projects and we uh, you're a liar, okay. <laughs> <laughs> after a poker tournament you go home and do yeah, nothing sure. <laughs> you know. no but we appreciate all the effort that goes in from all all the teams and it, it's definitely a team effort and we, we really appreciate absolutely. it absolutely and the monster camp team is always yeah. as usual tremendous everybody that works underneath caitlin get their jobs done properly on time all the time they do a great job and yeah, a massive thank you to everyone and most importantly a massive thank you to this poker community in South Africa they've just been awesome they've been behind us they've backed us all the way um, obviously you can't please everybody all the time yeah. but we, we certainly will go out of our way to, <laughs> to, to try and please everyone and make sure that you know the product that we put out there is world class mm. Yeah, so I think that's it. As we've said, you can download that player guide from our website or from our social pages or it is in the description in all of the WhatsApp groups. If you're not on one of the WhatsApp groups, contact us via our website. We will get you added to the correct group so that you get all of the information for your province. Satellites are going to be kicking off around the country soon, so get involved. Come to Cape Town. We can't wait to see you there.